Kern Voice, English. Silver can't attract a good game's host. Gold can't replace a nice tutorial. Welcome to Azure Game Utopia. Overpark is a game that practices pattern building and spatial concepts. Players need to park various vehicles in their parking zone and arrange them. Try to achieve different goals to score points. The video will focus on a four-player game, first looking at the central setup. The steering wheel marker is placed in the center, with one parking card randomly flipped in each of its five positions. Remaining parking cards are shuffled and placed face down nearby. Three objective cards are randomly drawn and placed in a row nearby, the rest removed. Then each player does the following setup. Choose a parking lot board and three objective markers. Place four traffic cone tokens and five T tokens in the corresponding positions on the screen. The extra T token is placed in the T zone in the bottom right corner of the board. Each player draws two parking cards as their hand. After viewing, they can return zero to two cards to the bottom of the deck, then draw back to two cards. Remaining markers are placed nearby. Only trucks shown on screen are used. The rest removed. Then the game can begin. The game's goal is to fill your parking zone with various vehicles. Try to connect same colored vehicles at right angles and achieve truck bonuses. Or try to meet objective card requirements for extra points and rewards. A game round has two phases shown on screen, mainly drawing parking cards and placing vehicles in the parking zone. It'll continue until a player meets the end condition, which will be explained later. Let's explain the two phases first. Steering phase. Pass the start player marker clockwise. First round goes to the player who most recently drove any vehicle. Then the start player marker holder rotates the steering wheel marker. It must stop with five positions exactly facing one card. All players then take the parking cards with their color edge. Fill these empty slots as much as possible, then enter the parking phase. In the parking phase, all players can act simultaneously. Each player must choose one from their three parking cards. Then place the vehicle in their parking zone according to the card's instructions. When placing, you can rotate the pattern freely, just keep the relative position, but can't mirror. You can choose not to place, putting unwanted vehicles in the no parking zone. If placement exceeds the map range, also put in the no parking zone. If it covers traffic cone tokens, these tokens also go to the no parking zone. After placement, put parking cards near the player to record rounds and check if two conditions are met. For each filled block, that is, any 4x4 four four area separated by yellow lines is filled. If filled, take that area's key token to your key zone. The use of this marker will be explained later. Check if any objective card requirements are met. If so, immediately place one of your objective markers on the leftmost empty space of this objective card. Players declaring in the same round will place on the same space. You can only place one of your objective markers on an objective card. The rightmost space can be placed even if full. You can place any time you achieve it. If the reward includes a motorbike token, immediately take one motorbike token and place it in any empty space in your parking zone. Also, there are a few special symbols to introduce. Return must immediately return one vehicle or traffic cone token from your no parking zone to your board. Key, take one key token from the supply and place it in your key zone, don't need to use immediately. Before or after the parking phase, you can use any keys from your key zone. Resolve each key one by one, return the key to the supply after use. The effect is to move a vehicle in your parking zone forward or backward any number of steps, but can't overlap other vehicles. If it covers a traffic cone token, put this traffic cone token in the no parking zone. If the vehicle's front or rear reaches any edge of the map after moving, it can directly leave the map and return to the supply. Check if any blocks are filled or goals completed after each key use, and take corresponding actions. So it's possible to consecutively achieve goals or trigger rewards in one round. The game will alternate between the two phases shown on screen. Until after a parking phase, 
at least one player's parking zone has no 2x1 or larger empty space. The game ends immediately. Scoring items are as follows. For colors, excluding trucks, the largest connected area of each color, one point per grid. Motorbike tokens count as any color and can be counted multiple times. Each truck surrounded by eight grid scores four points. Parking zone edges count as surrounded. Score for objective cards with your objective marker positions. Each marker in no parking zone deducts two points. Each remaining empty space in your parking zone deducts one point. These two deduction items can be reduced by remaining key tokens. One key token will make the player deduct one less point. The player with the highest final score wins. In case of a tie, the player with the least remaining empty spaces wins. This is the basic game rules. Below are other variants. 5 player mode, rules unchanged. If parking cards are used up and all players have no hand cards, the game ends forcibly. Advanced mode, during setup, remove basic trucks from the game, replace with advanced trucks. Each player gets 6 trucks of their color. When placing trucks, players choose one of their trucks and place it face up. If the card requires placing a truck but there are no trucks left, don't place. When scoring, each truck has its unique scoring condition. If met, you can get the shown points. See the last page of the rulebook for truck details. Solo mode, during setup, shuffle the Autobot deck and place it face down nearby. Remove the top two cards face down. The player always goes first and can't choose white as their color. The rules have the following changes. Player's turn remains unchanged, but after taking parking card, additionally remove the parking card in direction A. In Autobot's turn, flip a card from the Autobot deck, rotate the steering wheel marker according to the shown icon, and remove the card in direction A. When the sum of flipped cards has three or six of the same number, place an unused color objective marker on the leftmost empty target space of the objective card in the corresponding position counting from the left. Autobot has no limit on the number of objective markers that can be placed on an objective card. After 14 rounds, that is, when the Autobot deck is used up, the game also ends forcibly. Calculate your score and get achievements according to the table on the last page of the manual. These are all the rules of the game, below is the review. Overpark is a game with interesting concepts. The game uses a turntable mechanism to allow players to act simultaneously, reducing game length. And the arrangement also allows players to practice spatial concepts and planning. There are advanced and basic rules, allowing various age groups to enjoy playing. Board game geeks who like it, quickly click the KS link in the comments section to check it out. This tutorial ends here. If you like it, please help subscribe, like, comment. The Azure Game Utopia channel will have new videos every week. See you next time. Bye-bye.